Hello, this is Abra. So today I'm going to show you how to um, do a contour drawing, which is just drawing the edge of this flower. So I like if I'm, you know, if I'm going to be drawing, I like to either have a reference photo printed out or on my computer or my phone to look at. Um, unless it's something I've drawn a lot and I'm just going to draw from memory. Or if I want to draw something around me or something from my imagination, I can do that too. But um, so the way I like to start a drawing usually is by looking at the outlines of what I see. So and I would recommend starting with something simple like this. It has, you know, a lot of flowers are actually pretty complicated because they have, I don't know, <laughs> hundreds of petals and so it's a lot of just a uh, lot of details. Um, this one has a pretty simple shape. Um, it has these three petals on top and then three petals underneath. Um, I'm going to ignore all of these, all the leaf action in the background for the time being. Um, but today I'm just going to show you how to draw the outline of this and then next week I'll show you how to paint it. But I do want to show you a few little watercolor techniques. So I'll be doing that after I show you the drawing. So I'm just going to be looking. Drawing is kind of this way from observation. It's just all about looking and trying to capture what you see. And so first of all, I'm going to kind of loosen my grip. Um, a lot of people, you know, we get nervous or you know, start to put a lot of pressure on ourselves when we start drawing and so then we start to get a, a death grip on the pencil. So just kind of try to loosen up. And I'm going to, I usually start with a light sketch. I'm going to try to sketch darker just so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm drawing the first layer. So this next one I'm going to draw is right down here. And for me, drawing this kind of way is really relaxing because I'm just kind of drawing what's there. It's, it's almost like meditation or something. Like, you know, in meditation where you notice your thoughts and you let them kind of pass by, perhaps. But... So with, when I'm drawing this way, I'm just noticing what's there and just trying to kind of capture it on paper. Okay, so now onto this petal. reason this petal I struggle with a little bit. I don't know why. I always do. And then a lot of times I like to um, use my pencil to kind of judge what angle something is at. So I'll kind of hold my pencil up to that angle and see what angle that line is at. So that's a little a little tip that I like to use. So again, this is called contour drawing. It's just drawing the edge. Contour means, I think I believe it means edge in French perhaps. Okay. So now I'm drawing these petals that are underneath. And I'm not going to worry if it looks just like the photograph. That's not really, really the point so much. Um, the point for me is just to try to relax and have fun. And hopefully in the end, you know, I have something that I am reasonably happy with. And if not, that's okay. I'll just try again. But just remember as you make things that 
everyone has you know a different way of doing things and a maybe a different style um, and they don't don't all have to look the same all right so I've got my basic flower there I'm ignoring all of the little like details in the center for the moment I'll worry about those when I start painting it next week okay so now if you've got your contour drawing you can just kind of let that sit for right now um, but what I wanted to do since we're gonna be painting it next week I just wanted to show you a few little quick things to do to kind of start playing with your watercolor um, just basically to get your brushes wet and start playing with your paints a little bit so um, I have this Koi watercolor set. I like it because it's it's got uh, several colors. It has enough colors um, and has you know some space to mix. It has a little palette so I can mix stuff. So I've got a cup of water, um, a paintbrush. I'm using a number six round brush, but really any type of brush that you have will do. And then I have a paper towel. So first, I'm going to show you, like, if I wanted to start with my watercolor, I like to make sure to get the um, watercolor itself wet. So I, I might just kind of drip a little, some drops of watercolor on the paints that I want to use. And that'll kind of start to get them ready for me to use them. If you have a like a spray bottle you can also spray the paint. So I'm just going to kind of get my paints ready. If I've gotten paint on my brush then I want to wash that off um, and to do that I just kind of brush the bottom of my cup in a figure eight motion. I don't want to you know like grind the bristles onto the bottom because that will destroy my brush. Again, activating the paint, kind of getting it ready. I'm not going to use all these colors right now, but I don't know which ones I'm going to use, so I'm just getting them all wet. Okay, so now I'm ready to paint. And so what I'm going to do, I wanted to show you wet and wet, and that's basically I have wet paper. So I'm going to get my, I have water on my paintbrush, and I don't want puddles of water, but I just want to see kind of the shine of the water on the paper. And so once I have that, I'm going to get, maybe I'll take some blue. And kind of loading my brush up with the paint. And then when I put my brush down, you can see how the watercolor starts to spread and this is one of my favorite ways to paint because you kind of let you get to let the paint do the work um, it's like you just paint, put paint on the paper and then magic happens maybe I'll add I rinse my brush out so maybe I'll add this some red and so those colors are going to kind of blend a little bit right there on the paper. So it's just good to know like with wet and wet you don't have as much control over the paint which can be really nice but if you want to put you know details or something you don't want to use wet and wet because you don't you can't really get those details. Okay so now I'm gonna use wet paint but just on dry paper. And I'm doing this so you can just kind of experiment with your paints. So notice how it is going on the paper, but it's not spreading the way this paint is spreading. And like if I want a really saturated color, like a darker color like that, then I have less um, water in this little mix here. Um, I could also, usually if I'm doing a painting, I'll actually put my paint in the palette. 
and that way I have more control over how dark it is. And if I want it lighter, I can add more color to it, or sorry, more water to it, and voila, I have a lighter color. And so you can practice this too. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show you is just some of the different brush strokes that you can get just from one paintbrush. So I might go back to, actually I'm gonna do green. I'm gonna get a little crazy here. Have this number six round um, if I really kind of load my brush up soak it up soak that paint up in there um, then I can start with the tip of my brush and then kind of push down pull back up push down pull back up so I can make kind of like leaf shapes um, I can make really thin lines, I can make dots, I can do kind of like a circle, or a, not exactly a circle, but um, twirl my brush around to make kind of a petal shape, or um, maybe some type of leaf. So it's just a good idea to practice and see what your brush can do. So that is what I wanted to show you today. Contour drawing, so basically, you know, instead of trying to draw every single thing and every single detail, um, I'm just looking at the edge to get a start. Because um, it can be intimidating to look at something and think like, okay, I want to draw this or paint this, and you have no idea where to start. So looking at the contour is a good one good place to start. Um, and then you learned about wet and wet. Um, so that's just wet paint on wet paper, um, wet on dry, and that's just the wet paint on dry paper. Um, and then just play around with some brush strokes. Um, because, you know, looking at this paper sometimes can be intimidating because, you know, you don't know what to put on there or don't want to mess up the page. Um, but just let yourself paint and draw and try not to worry too much about what it's going to look like in the end. Um, try to just enjoy, you know, being in the moment, painting or drawing. So. I hope that's helpful. 